Fellow alchemists, welcome back to our kind of deep dive into Elixir. Now, something I wanted to show to everybody is in the last episode, we went through uh, behaviors. So now I'd like to kind of show you how you can use a protocol to do something similar. So if we kind of recall, we made a behavior formatter, we made a Chinese formatter, which would take an employee, reverse the names, last name, first name, and a Western formatter, which does the typical Western style first name, last name, or given name, um, surname. Now I'd like to show you how we can use a protocol to do something similar but in this case, uh, you do it for multiple structs. So the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead, let's create our protocol. So inside of work app, work app, let's create a new file. We're going to call it a greeter. And we need to define a protocol. Let's call it work app greeter, of course. And here we're going to define that it will greet a customer so we're going to create a customer and in this case we have Western customers and Chinese customers because when you greet them you're going to be greeting them differently same thing with our formatter we have the surname first and then the given name last for the Chinese style and in our Western customer we're going to have to do the first name first of course and last name last I'm going to use those names because at least for me it's it's quite standard uh, to use this kind of terminology and you'll see how this works, okay? So we're just gonna create just a straight uh, greeter and a greeting method. And we just need to implement those methods for each of those classes, or sorry, each of those structs. So let's go ahead, let's make our um, Western customer. So we're going to define a module called Western uh, customer. And of course we have our struct. I'm going to have our first name, last name. Now, within our customer, we need to actually define the implementation for the work app greeter. And that, of course, is for our current module. So we can just use that as a short syntax. And we define the, sorry, define the greet function takes in the customer. In this case, we will say hello, customer.first name, and customer.last name. And then of course, we need to go ahead and create our Chinese customer. So we have our Work app, Chinese customer. And I'm gonna to stick to the similar terminology we've been saying, just to kind of make life much, much, much simpler. And we're gonna have a given name and a surname. And we of course define the implementation for our work app reader. Of course, it's for, again, the current module. And define that greet method. Take in the customer. And in this case, I'm just going to switch real quick to Chinese. And I will say Ni Hao. And then we have the customer that surname and the customer that given name. Perfect. And this makes things actually simpler in the fact that we don't need to worry about which you know behavior uh, to choose, right? We just have the one and each customer themselves has the implementation. So let's say we have a Western customer. App, uh, Western customer. Remember, they have a first name. Just use my typical style. And last name. Just 
is of course the test. And then we have a Chinese customer. Uh, work app, Chinese customer. And they have slightly different data, so it should be given name Alan. Uh, uh, sorry, surname. Test. Let's use the same style so you can see the differences. And now when we do uh, work app greeter and we greet the Western customer, we do it in the Western kind of style. And if we greet the Chinese customer, we greet them in the Chinese style. So this is how implementations and protocols work, right? So you define some methods that should be, sorry, some functions that should be implemented. And you just implement them. And you can see how this could be quite useful, right? If you have a different you know, type of customer, then you can really get down to the granularity with this. Um, this is just a simple example, kind of show you how behaviors and, and um, implementations and protocols work. So it's quite simple. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Uh, again, this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi, please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai, ge duk man all. Ya wenti, ji da wen wo.